assalamu alaikum guys how are you uh, today i'm gonna give the lecture about uh, gates logic gates first of all we should know that what are logic gates uh, logic gates are basically the basic building blocks of any digital system uh, these are electronic circuits which have one or more than one input and only one output and there are three main types of or the basic logic gates named as AND gate, OR gate and NOT gate and through further combinations uh, of these three gates uh, we get NAND gate, uh, NOR gate, exclusive OR gate and exclusive NOR gate and uh, let's start uh, that uh, how can we implement these logic gates inside the software named Proteus first of all we should know that Proteus is a software which is used for implementing uh, our circuits our electronic circuits many many electronic circuits and it is basically performed to do simulation uh, or if to check the error uh, if there are uh, and to check if there is an error inside our electronic circuit and uh, it is also used to carry out the PCB layout, the printed circuit board layout to use uh, to be used as a hardware. Now let's start. First we should discuss about AND gate. This is an AND gate. The library of AND gate inside the Proteus software is 74 of the AND gate is 7408 and these are our two inputs named as A and B. This is our DC source voltage source through which we can give our input voltage these are two resistors attached to the two inputs and this is an output source LED is attached as an output source which is grounded so uh, if we see our truth table basically how these logic gates work the, these logic gates work on a as a certain logic on a certain logic to perform their functions so what are these logics these logics are basically uh, performed on the boolean algebra uh, which consists of two variables 0 and 1 and 0 means off and 1 means on and through these, soft, uh, through these uh, logics we perform the functions of these different gates now let's see uh, first of all if we see that this is an AND gate these are our two inputs and this is our output and these uh, the, this is our truth table and we can see that there are four possible combinations of our inputs and these are their outputs and if we see that uh, the first of our, uh, the first of our possible combination is 0 and 0 basically the AND gate is represented as a dot but it is pronounced as an AND so we will say that A and B or Z, 0 and 0 gives us the output of 0 that means if both of our inputs are low our output will be also be low and if one of our inputs are low then still the output will be low but but if our inputs are high both of our inputs are, uh, are high then our output will also be high this is how the AND gate works this is our truth table and now let's see the simulation of our AND gate now if we see this is the if we see that both of our inputs are 0 0 or they are both low so we can see that uh, actually now these both are 0 0 so our LED is off this means 0 and 0 gives us output of 0 if we give one input high still the result is same but now let's see when we give both of our inputs high the LED is on as you can see in this truth table 1 and 1 gives us the output of 1 now that's how our AND gate work now this was our AND gate now let's uh, see the other gates that how uh, those gates work uh, we can see first of all we should see OR gate uh, if we see our truth table of OR gate that how an OR gate works this is an OR gate uh, sorry for the drawing I am not very good as, uh, in drawing these figures so 
but uh, you should understand the concept the concept is important so these are our two inputs and this is our output and this is our truth table these are four possible combinations of our inputs zero and or zero basically the or gate is uh, or the or combination is of the two inputs are represented as plus sign but we uh, denote uh, but we say it as or so zero or zero gives us the output of zero zero if both our uh, uh, if one of our inputs are high suppose b is high as and here a is high so we can say uh, so our gate our output becomes on that is one and one and if both of our inputs are high our input our output is one that's how the or gate works and this is the truth table of our or gate now if we see the simulation uh, both of our inputs input 1 and input 2 are off and this is DC source attached to both of our inputs and now we can see that how these get uh, how this R gate works this is our input and both of our inputs are low so as we can see the truth table 0 or 0 gives us output of 0 so LED is off now if we give one input high our LED becomes on as you can see here 0 1 gives us 1 now if we off this and on this one still the result is same and if we on both of our inputs the result is active high and so the LED is on and that's how our OR gate works now let's continue towards other gates the third basic and important gate is NOT gate it is basically uh, we can say a negation or the opposite of the input which is given to the gate suppose we can see that uh, first of all we should off that uh, this is the truth table of a NOT gate this is a NOT gate suppose we are giving an input named as A and this is our output A NOT this this thing is denoted as NOT so these are only two possible combinations in this since the input is 1 so if we give 0 on, uh, on our input the output is 1 that is it is the opposite and if we give 1 uh, it is negated and our output becomes 0 now let's see that in our simulation that how it works now if we see that when we give 1 uh, the when we gave 0 on our input the LED became on how because it is basically negation of our input opposite of our input given that is if we gave 0 it gave us 1 now if we give 1 here our LED uh, is off and uh, the output is 0 and that's how our NOT gate works now let's see rest of these gates NAND gate it is basically the combination of NOT and AND gate and uh, let's see our PDF that how our NAND gate works this is our NAND gate that uh, this circle or this bead type thing is attached in front of AND gate and this shows that it is a NOT gate and this is an AND gate basically these are the combinations of NOT and AND gate uh, basically NAND gate is the negation of AND gate or we can, show, uh, we, we can say that opposite of AND gate as we have discussed in NOT gate that what is a NOT gate uh, similarly uh, NAND gate is the opposite of AND gate now let's see if we see that there that is AND gate and 0 and 0 gives us 0 0 1 gave us 0 1 0 gave us 0 1 1 gave us 1 so since NAND gate is opposite of AND gate uh, it is basically the negation of AND gate so 0 0 give us 1 as the 
and gate uh, in front of and gate there is attached a not gate so it give us 1 0 1 gives us 1 1 0 give us 1 and 1 1 gives us 0 basically this is the opposite of this one this truth table now let's see that in our simulation now we can see both of our inputs are high that is 1 1 so our output is 0 so the LED is off as we can see in the truth table here so now let's see rest of the conditions that is 0 1 gave us 1 so our LED is lighting a uh, lightning or uh, the LED is on 0 1 gave us 1 now let's see about 0 and 0 still the LED is on so that's how our NAND gate works if you can see that truth table 0 and 0 gave us 1 so now let's continue towards our NOR gate it is uh, like NAND gate it is uh, uh, NOR gate is simply a combination of OR gate and NOT gate uh, basically it is a negation of OR gate or the opposite of OR gate these are our two inputs and let's see its truth table this is a NOR gate this B type thing is attached further to towards our OR gate and basically it is our it is the opposite of OR gate uh, let's see here 0 0 gave us 0 0 OR 1 gave us 1 1 OR 0 gave us 1 1 OR 1 gave us 1 here 0 NOR 0 gave us 1 gives us 1 0 or 1 gives us 0, 1 or 0 gives us 0 and 1 or 1, 1 or 1 gives us 0. Now let's uh, let's see that in our simulation. As you can see both of our inputs are high that is we gave input 1 and input 2 1 1. So our LED is off as you can see here in the truth table. It is the opposite of our gate that's why. Now if we turn on one of the turn off one of the inputs still our result is same as we can see here 0 1 gives us 0 nor gives a uh, 0 nor 1 gives us the output of 0 so our LED is off now we shall see that if both of our inputs are off the LED is lightning the LED is on as we can see in the truth table since it is a negation or the opposite of our gate here 0 0 gives us 0 but since it nor gate is the opposite of our gate so 0 0 gave us 1 so our LED is on now there remains only two gates exclusive or gate and exclusive nor gate now these are two separate gates from the rest of the gates now let's see its truth table that how these gates works first of all we should see exclusive OR gate this is an exclusive OR gate the condition the basic condition that exclusive OR gate requires in its truth table is that if its inputs are same then it will give us an output of zero but if its inputs are different that if we can see in the second and third row it will give us an high input that is 1 now let's see this in our simulation so as we can see both of our inputs are same that is 1 and 1 so from the truth table we can see our output is 0 so our LED here is off that is it is at active low now if we on one of the one uh, if we on one of the L, uh, inputs and off the other input so we can see the LED is blinking since since these inputs are same so we can see here that our LED is off but uh, if we make these inputs opposite of each other then our LED will be on that's how our exclusive OR gate works now we should continue towards our last gate that is exclusive NOR gate
let's on this as we can see here now exclusive nor gate is basically the opposite of exclusive or gate as we have uh, seen in and 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 cases or and nor cases exclusive or and exclusive nor are the same cases as ex uh, nor and and gates so exclusive in exclusive or we discussed that if both of our inputs are same then the output given uh, by the gate will be zero and if our inputs uh, would be different then the output given by the gate will be one or high but that's not the case with exclusive nor gate since it is a negation we can say it is a negation or the opposite of so if in this case in exclusive nor gate we can see that if both of our inputs are same then we can say that our input our output is high that is our output is one our led will be on but if our inputs are different then our output will be low that is our output will be zero and the led will be off now let's see Uh, since the simulation is on so we can see that both of the inputs are different that input 1 is given as input high that is 1 and input 2 is given as active low input low that is 0 so we can see since both of the inputs are different so our LED is off now if we on both of our inputs that is if we make our input same 1 1 so our output will also be 1 now if we off both of our outputs the result is still same that is our LED is on and that's how all these gates works uh, upon certain logics of the boolean algebra the possible combinations made in the truth table and that is it and uh, if you have any problem you can ask in the comments and Allah Hafiz